I've been growing things in my basement lab. Colourful things. Some glow under UV light, and some even emit their own light. This rainbow of colours here is from a set that I bought online, but I'm hoping to make my own additions to the rainbow over time. One way to do this is to make up some plates of tasty agar and grow some random microbes from your environment. I had these goopy blobs floating in a jar, and I'd already had a sample sequence to see what bacteria were living in there. After swabbing one over a plate, I got all sorts of stuff growing, including this lovely pink yeast which I was able to isolate. I also found this yellow mystery goo growing from the inside of what was supposed to be sterile supplement pills a friend gave me. We're holding back on that one till I know what it is. The next step up is to force an organism to make the thing you want. For example, to make these glowy bacteria, I put some E. coli in cold calcium chloride solution, then added special little bits of DNA called plasmids, and moved the mix into 42 degrees C water for 90 seconds. Just enough time to shock the bacteria and convince a few of them to take in the new DNA. Then I spread them out on plates with an added antibiotic. The trick is that the plasmids contain DNA that codes for antibiotic resistance, as well as the glowy Lux genes we want to express. In this photo, each colony formed from a single cell that successfully took in the new DNA. I've designed my own plasmids, which are being assembled as we speak, so stay tuned for a future video where I can see if I manage to make a new color. Thanks for watching.